Hi, I'm Henry Lewis, the live music editor at Skiddle. We're talking about Independent Venue Week. We're joined by a stag just here. And uh, in a very short moment, we'll be talking to not a stag, but a stallion, Matt Murphy. Beautiful stuff. Stay tuned. Matt Murphy, Matt Murphy, how are you today? I'm very well, sir. How are you? Yeah, I'm great. I'm great. You're a busy boy. Uh, You're obviously involved at Skiddle and you're in a band. So firstly, tell us about your day job. What do you do here at Skiddle? So I'm in the account support team here, deal with um, promoters, helping them out, using the promotion centre, all that sort of thing. Decent, decent. And then moving on to uh, your sort of out of work hobbies, you're in a band, aren't you? Tell us a little bit about the band, what you call, what sort of music, that kind of thing. Cool. So yeah, the band's called Building Giants. We're, um, there's three of us from Preston. Um, one of the lads I've been in a band with previously, like my first ever band uh, was with him. Um, one of the lads is a bit further north. He's from Carlisle, but we, you know, we're all based, all based here. Um, it's rock, modern blues rock sort of stuff, influenced by like Queens of Stone Age, nice. say Royal Blood, that sort of thing. Yeah, maybe, a, maybe a twinge heavier. A twinge heavier, a little bit heavier than Queens of the Stone Age, even. <laughs> so what what do you do in the band then? So uh, I play guitar. So we yeah. split like you know lead rhythm between me and Tom's the other guitarist. So depending on the track. So as a guitarist, what are some of your favourite riffs of all time, ever? Oh, you put me on the spot here, yeah, that's tough. Um, for me, uh, Alice in Chains, Man in the Box, absolute all-time favourite riff. Brilliant, classic, classic riff, classic yeah. riff. And uh, so look forward to sort of the next week or so, you've got a few shows coming up, aren't you? So firstly, are you playing tonight in Manchester, is that right? Yeah, so, on. so we're in Manchester tonight at Night and Day. Um, then we are we've got a hometown gig um, tomorrow we're playing at the Ferret um, on Saturday we're playing in Glossop at a venue called The Globe so next week you're involved in a couple of independent venue week shows aren't you so could you tell us a little bit about them please yeah so we're playing at the Salty Dog in Northwich on Thursday next week and then um, the day after we're playing at the 27 Club in Liverpool, so that's Thursday, Friday next week. Independent Venue Week is obviously important for you because you're playing two shows, but you know, on the whole, like, how important is it to up-and-coming bands like yourself to have that platform to go and play live? It's it's like the bread and butter for bands like us. Like, you know, like you, you, it's your bridge between. You know, you're starting off with your pub gigs and then you you're building up from there. You know, it's you know, club focus on venues rather than just your, your pub gigs from there. And you're a Preston-based band, aren't you? So it's the ferret in it that's Preston. Have you had some good shows there over the years? Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, me and myself, I've played in, in like a few bands that have played there over the years. So there was a point where it was pretty much like house band and, and you know, anybody dropped out, they, we, we were thrown in. And it's, it's always had a cool vibe, like, throughout all that time. Um, but yeah, the last one we played was probably about six months ago now and it was... It was fairly packed then, so um, we're expecting a, a good turnout this one as well. So apart from playing at the Ferret, you've obviously seen some bands there yourself, mates bands and anyone particularly famous that we might have heard of? <laughs> yeah, loads of mates bands. Um, the one that stuck out was uh, a band called Crywank we seen a few years ago. <laughs> loads of fun, loads of fun. <laughs> and what do they, they go by something a little less, well, a little more PG, don't they? What, what are they called? Yeah, so... Apparently, two family members, they uh, refer to themselves as Tear Jerk. Beautiful stuff. And again, that is rock and roll at its truest essence. Beautiful <laughs> stuff. So if these independent venues didn't exist, you know, there'd be big problems for bands like yourself. Isn't that right? Yeah, absolutely. That You haven't got that place to step up then. You know, there's nowhere to go. You, 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 you know, you've got your arenas and then there's what's in the middle. You know, it's... It's a place you, you go to, to watch as well as play. So, you, you know, you're finding out about more about yourself, your sound, what, you know, you you're influ- take your influences from everywhere, including there. Bit of a plug for building giants themselves. What's going on? What are you up to at the minute? Apart from gigging quite a lot, have you got any new music coming out or anything like that? At the Mo, we're in the middle of writing some new tracks, uh, just trying to fine tune those at the Mo. Um, we, we've also got a little teaser for a um, video coming on um, this Sunday. I uh, don't know when the full thing will be coming, but the teaser's definitely out on Sunday, so keep your eyes out for that. And where can we find all of your music? Are you across all the normal platforms? Oh, yeah, plastered all over the internet. <laughs> um, just head over to facebook.com forward slash building giants. Beautiful stuff. Matt Murphy, you're hard working at 
work. You are working out of work. You're a beautiful guy. Look at his hair. How do you keep it so fresh and so clean? Sheer luck. Honestly, that's that's it. Take whatever's there. <laughs> Take what's there. It's all sheer luck. It's beautiful. Thank you very much for joining us up here in the Skiddle office. Great stuff. Cheers, man. Thank you. Have a good one. Yeah, beautiful. There you go.